it's Tony from CassetteComeback.com So today's video is a bit of a mix mash. I've got some stuff to talk about um, I've got some gifts which I've been sent which I want to show you and we're going to look at some cassettes as well But I know a lot of you don't like staring at this black chair. So let's put something interesting on it There we go. This was a gift a gift from I hope I'm pronouncing your name right Iranius in Poland and What's nice about this book is if we look at it, this is from 1988 and it's Polish and I love this cover. This is proper, you know, if you think about this, this is a Soviet era Polish booklet, uh, I keep on the booklet, it's a book that's uh, all around Cassetti and it's really good even though it's all in Polish, Iranius has left me some little post-it notes here about pertinent things that we can look at and it's really cool I mean you know if we look here we're looking at uh, he's left me some stuff about the TDK working horse all parameters according to reference tape and there's so many tapes I mean that's the Polish still on tapes but which I've never managed to get hold of but it's got loads of era pacific tapes and it's got all the comparisons to everything in it's really really in depth I mean I, I wish it was English because this would be like a bible of earlier cassettes but there's lots and lots of stuff that explains about how the tapes are made you know I'm thinking here you know that we've got a we've got one two one two three so that, that could be like a for I don't know I'm just guessing but different tape types oh, hang on what's this sensitivity of the tape record play correction bias it's set you see he's put me little post-its in about yeah I mean this looks like the ultimate bible of how cassettes work what it's all about reviews of them it even does some video cassettes in the back you know look at that eight millimeter cassettes and you know yeah how it works uh, yeah this this is an amazing amazing book and I just wish I could read it but if you can read Polish I'd check this book out so thanks again Irenaeus for sending it to me because uh if nothing else, it was great for the coffee table to look at. And um, my friends say, "Well, you've got a Polish book." I'll say, "Yeah, no problem. You know, I, I can read this. It's all, it's all good." Yeah, brilliant book. Thank you very much for sending that. I really appreciate it. So, in order to boost that up, I've also thought since I like doing the videos, I'm going to try something else. And I've always been a mad video gamer. And as you saw in this video, Bing. Um, you know, I, I like messing around with the old computers, so I've started a new channel which is called Retro Vega, which is short for Retro Video Games. So if you enjoy my company and you want to see me ranting while I get kicked about in some retro video games, while I do some comparisons and play some and talk about them, then here's the first video. Bing! It's from a game called Vigilante where I compare all the different versions and uh, if you like that please look at the channel like and subscribe right so the next thing is I got a lovely gift in the post and this is the letter I got with it and it's signed Z and I don't know who who this is from but we've got Zedmico now I can't help but think that Zedmico and Z are the same people and uh, one's on an SAX and one's on a, a Soshi mag so thank you very very much for sending these to me but I'd kind of like to know who you are so in the comments just just let me know who you are so I can say thank you properly for sending me these and I am going to listen to these cause especially this one seems to have Frank Zappa on the front so you know so yeah thank you very much for that but it would help to know who you is now into the meat of it the cassettes again these are gifts which have been sent to me from a good friend Marcus do you know who you are out there and he's in Germany and he sent me some German cassettes which I haven't seen before and haven't used so Dessauer now I've heard of Dessauer Magnet Band DMB but I've never actually had one of their tapes so straight in the front this is this is you know this is straight into it right in the front big graph with you know the IEC reference tape and the response and when I look at it it's basically saying in big bold yeah this tape isn't as good as the IEC reference that's that's what that says to me which is kind of strange why would you put that on the front at the back high quality recording and reproduction quality 
in accordance with IEC standards, consistent take quality long life, in, in, in accordance with IEC standards, because it, it's not, because it's not. That's the IEC and that's your tape, so hyperbole. But anyway, let's open this one up and let's have a look at it. So let me just have a look. Hang on. I wish I brought my thing to, to tear, but I haven't. Bear with me. Okay, now, ah, now this is interesting. Yes, right, that answers a lot of questions. These hubs, this shell, I've got Sochimag that look just like this. Same hubs, same shell. I thought it was BASF, but the Sour Magnet Band. There we go, so this could be the same as the Soshi Mag. Hmm, interesting. Let's just put that one there for now. Now, the next one he sent me is, I've never heard of this brand, Tektro VS60 4CD. And this is what came with the dual pack. So if you're German, maybe you can understand that one better than me. But uh, extra long, I get that. Uh, I did German for GCSE, it's been a long time ago, but um, this one looks like a typical modern Type 0. Super high recording, laboratory standard mechanism, stolen straight from TDK, but this looks like a modern Type 0. And it says there, cobalt oxide, so is it... A is it a chrome dioxide? Let's have a sniff. No, it doesn't smell like a chrome. Um, it's a type 1. Is it a super ferro? Who knows? It's all exciting. And then the third one, which I'm going to look at, is this one. SK. Now, I always thought SK were these things. This was some sort of rebrand of SKC that, um, you know, later on in Europe, they rebranded, but it's not SK. So... Again, Perfecta sound and high dynamics. SK cassettes from Germany. So again, if you can speak German, there we go. But this is a, a Chrome. Well, a Type 2 at least anyway. Let's open this one up. If I can. Oh. Now, this looks quite familiar. That shell looks very BASF, even that, that writing does, but the hubs don't. The hubs just look like generic hubs. No, I'm not smelling any chrome in that one. You know something. One of these days, I'll remember, I keep forgetting to bring the bake. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear. So, how's the weather where you are? It's like a storm here. Wow, this is shiny tape. Wow, that is really shiny. That oh wow, that 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 is proper shiny. That, but it's definitely not chrome. So it could be a good ferro cobalt that I imagine. But yeah, never used these before. So I reckon we should uh, bang these into a deck and let's have a see if they're any good. The truth. Okay, so I'm going to use my Revox today, and um, I think we're going to get the bad stuff out of the way first, because I think I've been sent this as a joke. You know, I don't know Tetro, but we know this one, the hot tape, they're identical. The shells are identical, the stick is different. Uh, uh, this is the same as that, but let's give it the benefit of the doubt, shall we? with its, as I noticed recently, you can see that laboratory standard mechanism. Not laboratory, like I said before, laboratory. You know something, you want to start a business, yeah? That costs no money to start up or make a fortune. Sell yourself to, Jap uh, to Chinese companies as an English company that will actually check through all of your marketing materials and boxes and stickers and correct the mistakes that you make, and also make it palatable to Western businesses. 
it's, it'd be easy to do because then you wouldn't get laboratory standard mechanisms but anyway let's see if this bad boy can actually calibrate this to begin with so it's a 60 minute tape okay let's see if it can calibrate to it and if it can let's see if it's a dropout fest that this cassette is <laughs> so we shall see or maybe i haven't used a type zero in in this maybe maybe the revox will actually make it come alive and sound amazing well it's calibrated it so let's see now this tune I'm going to play right now is from the YouTube audio library and it's called Lonely Nights. Now I'm just going to uh, turn the input down a bit on this because I'm going to record this at zero and let's see how it handles it. Even though the stick is different, yeah, this is modern Chinese Type Zero junk. Cheers, Marcus. Thanks all the same, fella. Let's let's try something good now. Now I'm interested in this one. This is the SK. So uh, this this had really lovely black tape. This is a very BASF looking shell and and bits and you know. Let's see. Okay, let's so line this one up. Now, I'm going to play a song called Victim to Victor on this one. And this one again, I'm going to start at round zero, see how we get on, and then I might crank it up a bit because uh, I, I think this is a ferro cobalt. This isn't a pure chrome. So let's just give it a do anyway. So, like I say, Victim to to Victor. Let's have a do.
Okay, um, yeah, that, that, that wasn't bad. Um, didn't, didn't knock my socks off, but then again, let's look at this. This is probably, you know, a low end type two. Um, SK again, I don't, I don't think they were using BAF stock in this because, you know, BASF for a cobalt was the stuff they put in Maximas and, uh, the TP references. So yeah, this, uh, so it's lovely black tape. It seems to take level nice. Uh, I don't know if it's a song. The song was pretty bassy, but a bit of distortion on the bass. But all in all, it was uh, it was very good. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that one. But then again, you know this this is as good as probably entry level type twos really get. Um, yeah, but it's no it's no essay. Right, that in fact wasn't Victim to Victor neither, which we just played. That was one called Silky Smooth. And if you've ever uh, watched the film, You Don't Mess With a Zohan. If you haven't, it's Adam Sandler's funniest film. I love You Don't Mess With a Zohan. You'll know what I mean when I say, ooh, Silky Smooth. Right, The Death Hour. Now, again, this one is probably Cobalt Dope Chrome because it looks exactly like the Socky Mag. Um, ones which I have, they've got the same smoke shell, the same hubs, in fact the hubs and the shell say that maybe even the Tudors could be Dessauer and not BASF like I previously thought. I mean they're still great tapes and Dessauer I think used to license BASF stock to make it in Eastern Europe before the Berlin Wall collapsed so you know it could be BASF formulations but let's put this one in. Like I say, German tapes and a German deck, it's only fair. Apart from the Type Zero, which is obviously Chinese. But, uh, yeah, I think this is going to sound good. If it's the same as the Soshi Mag, then this is going to be good sounding tape. Bad weather we're having at the moment. We've, we've had storms non-stop for the last two weeks. Blew one of our bins over. That's how bad it got. Mm. So, let's try again. This is Victim to Victor on the Death Hour. Turn this down a bit. This is a bit hot. sniff yeah yeah it's cobalt dove chrome i had it a bit hot at plus four i mean i know cobalt dope Clo Cro la, 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 la. cobalt dope chrome can take more level than a pure chrome but you don't want it to be plus four it's not a ferro cobalt but around zero plus two yeah this sounded really good didn't it it was a a lot less hissy than this one this one i meant to say it did have a lot of hiss on it did that one but yeah this uh performed just like the Sochi Mag, really, 
really good. So, um, hey, two out of three ain't bad, as Meatloaf used to say. <laughs> So, what did we have there? Well, we had a really decent cobalt dope chrome, an entry level ferro cobalt type 2, and type 0 crap. Not a lot else to say. I mean, yeah, that, that was a bit hissy, but the more I think about it and looking at it, and you know, it's hard to determine, I would say. That might be Rax. I don't know. It might have been made by Rax, that one. I know SK is German, but that could have been Rax. That one, like I say, could be using, you know, it's Cobalt Dope Chrome, um, an old TD, uh, an old BASF formula. I don't know, but this is what's, what's certainly, I think, the Socky Mag and the Tudors are made by. The, the these not ag from BAS and no bad thing for it because they still perform superb and like I say these yeah just yeah I, I just wish it'd work a bit harder because I'm, I'm I got contacted by um a company in Britain that said they would do a duplicators and say great uh, what's your website never got a response but they said that they'd found some Chinese stock that was newly developed and it was really good and they wanted me to try it out and I said well tell me more about your company tell me about where this stock's come from it's not new old stock is it and then they all went quiet on me but who knows I, I believe that the Chinese will at some point get up to snuff with these if enough of them are sold and let's be honest they've virtually got the market to themselves you know they might well do it and uh, well here's another little thing just out of interest um, just out of interest I wanted to see how much someone would pay given any choice for 10 brand new cassettes so i put a box of my splice it captures up on ebay started the auction at 99p and had it open to the whole of europe i wanted to see what the top end people would pay there was 36 bids and this is what 10 sold for bing so my thoughts more and more are becoming that new cassettes at least new cassettes that are 60s and type 1 will not sell if you can buy a TDKD or an FE or a UR cheaper. And this sort of proves that the top end that anyone would, uh, wanted to pay was just over two quid. So I made a loss on them. But it was an experiment because I just wanted to see what people would pay. And that's what people would be willing to pay given a choice. So there we go. But until next time, please like and subscribe. And happy taping. Bye-bye.